Hello, Internet. It is the Wednesday Philip DeFranco Show. Today's show doesn't have a sponsor. Unless I can count myself. Because I'm like totally awesome, we did a complete, in-depth, exclusive, what else makes it sound cool, video about the announcement of the iPad. Apple's new tablet, which was announced at 10 o'clock this morning. And on a day like today, what else could we really talk about? I mean, granted, there's Alabama's anti-gambling task force leader winning a jackpot, which is about the most ironic thing today. It'd be like Alanis Morissette winning an award for the best song about irony. Or is that ironic? I can talk to you about awesome pictures, and then show you this picture of a nun punching a shark while a Transformer watches. I really don't have a joke for that. But would that really even need a joke? Then for guy news, I'd probably show you these pictures of Keisha and Katy Perry posing together, which would be hot if Keisha didn't look so much like a man. Then of course there would be Wednesday's douchebag of the day, which would be Paul Shirley, former NBA basketball player, who apparently had so much time on his hands, he decided to write a letter to all Haitians, which makes me wonder who he would mail it to. Then again, they're all kind of living together at this point. And when you read this letter, just imagine his collar popped while he's wearing one of those huge rimmed hats with the sticker left on. And the letter reads, Dear Haitians, First of all, kudos on developing the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Your commitment to human rights, infrastructure, and birth control should be applauded. And finally adding, and can some of you maybe use a condom once in a while? Sincerely, the rest of the world. And the reason Paul's our douchebag today is because he takes something that he thinks is sarcastic and witty and posts it on the internet. Only to find minutes after that he is just an asshole. And he should have just kept his stupid mouth shut, because now even ESPN cut ties with Shirley. Shirley will no longer be allowed to be on ESPN. Now that we got that news stuff out of the way, we come to the most important part of the show. The five secret things that the Apple iPad can do that were not revealed at the Apple announcement. Five! You can look at a picture of an iPad, watching an iPad, stream the iPad launch on your iPad. Or the iMaxi pad. Tres, the iPadded bra. Two, it can host late night for you as long as Jay Leno doesn't want the same spot. And finally, one. It'll even run Windows. But guys, if you do want to see that video where we talk about everything iPad related, specifically the announcement and all the features, check out the other video on my other channel, Like Totally Awesome. And your question of the day is kind of a question, kind of a challenge. What other things are the iPad capable of? Write them down in the comments, or make some pics like the ones I showed you, and send them to me in the email in the sidebar. But guys, that's really all that mattered to me this Wednesday. My name is Philip DeFranco, and you've just been filled in. Like a bitch! Not really, I just wanted to say that. Okay, I'm gonna go...